Well, hello there. This is the B2, and today we are going to talk about pure crystals, meaning your Certus, your Nether, and your Fluix crystals. So the pure version of each one are very handy. As you continue to upgrade your ME system, you'll need many of these pure crystals to do those upgrades. You'll notice in NEI that they're in a lot of the patterns and so what I like to do is get this going early so that it's not a stopping point later, right? And they're very easy so let's get right down to it. First of all you'll notice that I have added two more terminals in here. Um, to There's the regular ME terminal which we learned about in episode one. So I've added the crafting terminal and the pattern terminal. So the crafting terminal, let's take a look at the regular, see how it has what's in the ME system and what's in your inventory. And if you look at the crafting, it now adds this really cool crafting table, negating the need for a crafting table, the old wooden kind from modded, right? This is kind of like the next level upgrade type thing. Now the pattern terminal is the most complicated terminal. It's going to add not only the crafting terminal in, but it's going to add this cool little feature right here, which allows the system to make things on its own. You heard that right. Really cool stuff, and we're going to cover that in detail later on, but I thought I'd show you the different types of terminals that you can use. Now, a second thing to notice, if you come around the backhand side, um, this is why you use the smart cables. So if you look really closely, there's a blue line here and here, but there's no blue lines anywhere else on here. Kind of odd, there's no blue lines down there. Really kind of strange, but then there's three blue lines here. And that's what a smart cable does. If you read in the little tool tip up top, it says three of eight channels. Now that's important because regular smart cables only have eight channels. So if I was to hook nine monitors up, one of them would not work in this row anyway. Now this controller can handle 32 channels. So if I lined up on four sides of this little cube and put smart cables off on four sides then it would maximize what this controller would do if I wanted to add a 33rd device I would have to place another controller down and make that work but I'm going to show you guys that in later episodes I just wanted to kind of give you an intro because it's kind of cool to know now over here, let's make kind of some fluid stairs and fluid blocks just because I think it would be cool to, to look at this as we're getting ready, right? So um, one thing I'll notice is crystal growth accelerators and vibration chambers. Now B2, what in the world do those do? And I'll tell you. So if we're going to make a fluid seed, you'll need a charged surface quartz. You will need a nether quartz, and you will need some redstone. Good old redstone makes a return. So what you'll do is to make the seed, you'll simply throw each of the components into some water like this, and wait a second, and then bang, you get two fluix crystals back. Right, so for one of each component, you get two crystals back. Now, what do I do with those crystals? You grind them down into powders. One, two, three there. So we're going to put this down here. Well, in order to make these different things, you're going to need all the different powders, right? So let's take a look here. And we got the nether quartz dust. So if I wanted to make fluix dust and make a pure crystal, one, two, three, I would need some sand, right? And then you get these seeds back, and you can pull them down here. Now, I have got 64, but that's not correct because we're using. So let's do it this way. One, two, three, you get six. Now, it's going to pull from your inventory up here. So if I wanted to make a stack, I could right-click it and make a whole stack. Not necessary. Well, what would I need if I was going to make... Certus, the pure Certus. You guessed it. A Certus dust. And if I wanted to make nether quartz, nether quartz dust. You guys are bright. Bright, bright, bright early this morning. Can't fool you guys. So we'll put those things back in the system. Well, now how do I get them to be from a seed to a pure crystal B2? Easy. You'll go back up to here and you'll throw these guys in here. Boom, 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 boom. And just throw them all in. It doesn't matter. And you'll see how they start to have a little particle effect down there. That means that it's working. So, if I was just to throw these into plain old water with nothing around it, just a water, it would take a lot of time to make those into crystals but if I add these vibration chambers up top here on top of the crystal growth accelerators I could make these seeds in about 15 to 20 minutes that's very handy because you only want to do it once but it kind of has a little cool station up here so if I wanted to make a lot of them you could throw whole stacks in you could throw multiple stacks in and what are those good for B2 I'll tell you 
they're going to need those to upgrade the ME storage cells. You're going to need them to make a lot of different things within applied energistics. Uh, and so you'll want to keep, like, let's see. If I wanted to go in here and look up some of these recipes, you would see that a lot of these things that are in here require these crystals in the pure form, and some don't. But you'll want to go ahead and get an early start on that in the game when you're doing applied energistics. So that way you can expand your ME system and build some of the components you need without having to stop and remake crystals, right? If you're going to do one, just make the stack. The components aren't hard to do. So that's episode two for Applied Energistics. That's a great solid foundation for you to start from. Uh, and I will see you in episode three. Have a great day.